like how to target and how to do shit like that. And so what you do for, in case I didn't show you, you can use the, if there is something that you could lock onto, like, uh, like this. You can use a C stick, and you can use. You see how your A icon, a icon goes to jump. You can do that. You can jump forward. You can do kind of a like a jump attack, and then you can do bag flips, which are kind of cool in my opinion. You can slash some of these plates. Cards obviously restore your health. Like I don't need to explain this a whole lot. I mean, if you've played a Legend of Zelda game that's 3D. More or less, you've probably played this game, or at least the the layout of this game. Listen. Oh, that's weird. I didn't I didn't even press up. Yeah, she'll say you can climb these vines right here, and you can. But we're not going to, because well, one, I want to kill that guy, because I want his nice stick, and I'm going to go up this ladder right now. And jump, bitch. You can get a heart there if you feel like it. I'm not gonna bother though. Too much of a badass. Oh yeah, you get those things. Yeah, so in this chest, you're gonna get like the item for the for the dungeon with that in quotes. And this is the first reason why I don't consider this a dungeon is because it pretty much hands you the items. Like, literally. it does. You don't have to do shit for them. They're just laid out for you. So that's probably the first the first uh, reason why I don't consider the this a dungeon. Ah, I wish you'd shut up, Mabby. Yeah, you can open up the doors by pressing A. That's, that's really it. It's not that hard. Oh, these things are kind of a bitch. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah. I, I used the wrong button for uh, targeting. Here, you gotta hit their nuts back at them. And I'm gonna go kind of chase them down a little bit. And then he's gonna give me a little clue. And he says if you jump off a high cliff, if you hold uh, the directional uh, thing forward, then you won't take damage. Un unless it's like a really, really high cliff. But for the most part, it's going to be useful. And he gave us a uh, recovery heart back also. There's nothing else in this room, so we're going to go on. Uh, oh yes, this is the... Uh, yeah, you can actually make that. You could just use the vines too. So yeah, this is the... Yes, okay. Just making sure this is the item that we get. Because I confused this with the uh, dungeon map that we just got a minute ago. So this is the slingshot. It's pretty badass, actually. You can use Deku seeds for... Uh, uh, for ammunition. It's pretty sweet. I like it. I wish I had this thing as a kid. Then again, I was kind of a shithead when I was a kid, so... Probably would have been taken away by my parents at some point. Alright, yeah. <laughs> it's that easy. And, uh... Surely some of these plants can drop some, uh... Deku seeds. There. That's what they look like. Yep. Pretty sweet, huh? It's not that cool. Although it'll work for now. So that's what's in there. Let's see. Uh, I know we can kill some of those, uh, those spider things are called skatolas. Or skulltolas. Whatever you want to call them, it doesn't really matter. You can lock on to them if you want. Uh, I believe there's one more way up there. Yes. Awesome. I'm not gonna bother uh, trying to get what it dropped. They usually just drop uh, more seeds, if I think, if I remember right. I know they don't drop sticks. So you think we're gonna go? See if I, if I had the compass, I could see what you know. Do 
direction I'm facing. I think I'm on the like the northwest side, if I remember. Those are the big uh, skulltulas. You can use your sword. You have to hit their under undersides, or you could use the um, or you could use the slingshot. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we can jump down from there for now, but uh, we're not going to. I'm not going to. I'm going to go through this door. Um, you might notice a, here is a torch. It's not lit. In. You might notice here that there's a torch that is lit. In. So, using the Deku sticks, we can do that. And before the Deku stick burns out, we can just slash our sword. So, that's nice. Recycling is fun. Not really. Actually, I want to go over here first and get this chest. I'm pretty sure it's the compass. Da -da -da -da. I'll kill you just because I don't like the noise you make. Get some extra rupees, I guess. God knows I'm probably going to need them for the... Uh, for the mini games. Get that nut. Yeah, Link really likes his nuts, I guess. Now we're gonna go over to the uh, this side right here. Yeah, I know we can do that. Now this is a different. This is a, called a gold skulltula. There are a hundred of them in the game. And each time you kill one, it'll drop a token. And if you get all of them, you'll be rewarded, which... Honestly, I don't think it's uh, worth the effort to get them all. But that's just me. Did he drop anything? No, I guess not. Alright. I kind of wonder why they have uh, vines over on this wall. When there's vines just right, you know, just right here. I thought that was kind of strange how they put that there. Uh, we're gonna kill one of these things at least. Yeah, you can kill them in one hit with the sword, actually, so. Ooh, three rupees. Or one fell down there. Oh, damn. Actually, I want to make sure this is right. You have to land, like, right on the... There you go. You have to land, like, right on the fucking, uh, on the cobweb right there, so. I did it right. Sometimes I fucked that up. Bitch. That's what I thought. Also, there is another gold skulltula right there. We're gonna get that, so I don't have to later. As assuming I'm gonna let's play this. I mean, honestly, people, whoever sees this, say if it's good or not. If it's good, I might do it, because I, I'm done with Actors, and I'm, not, and I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do, along with uh, playing the rest of Chrono Trigger, so... You know, for fuck's sakes, this is the one time where I actually, like, kind of beg for a little feedback, okay? Uh, let's see... Yeah, there's one right there, too. It might not look like you can get it. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, well. Uh, I think there's just a recovery heart in here, actually. Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyways, like I was saying, it might not look like you can get it, but you can if you jump. Like that. I think that's... I think there's one more in the tree, but we can't get that until later. Let me see. Uh, yeah. I think there's one more that uh, we can get, but we can't get it yet because we, we need uh, a certain item. Oh, wait, no, that's not what I wanted to go to. See, I think the first time I played this, I didn't entirely know what to do. But you're meant to use this stick and then light up this cobweb over here to reveal this door. Well, maybe not reveal the door to, to gain access to it. I'm gonna kill this thing. 
Well, I mean, not not actually kill it. Let's see, what are these things called? Aren't they called? Oh, oh that fucker. Shouldn't have gone back in, goddammit. I don't think you can hit him. I'm pretty sure it won't let you hit him. I think these things are called Deku, Deku scrubs or just Dekus, I, I don't remember. And they tell and this guy will tell you a certain order on which to defeat his brothers in. And um twenty-three is number one. That's saying I think I read it on my comment that, that that's actually a it's actually a reference to Michael Jordan, if I remember. Because back in the nineties he was, you know, like pretty well known, you know, at the top of his game really. So I think that's talking about him because I think he has number the number twenty three jersey. So that's pretty interesting, I guess. Uh, I don't know either that or maybe it's talking about the the twenty three flavors of of Dr Pepper or something. Who knows? Or is that twenty three flavors or is that I don't even remember. I haven't had Dr Pe Pepper in a while. Oh, you fucker. That switch, goddammit. I wish it would just drain the water, like, completely, so that you can just, like, walk it, but... I guess that wouldn't help because the wall's too damn high. There's no vines, so... Alright, with this, uh, we can just... Go right under those spikes and... Be a badass, basically. Oh, there's you. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. But yeah, that's what happens if you... That's what happens if you hit their, uh, like, skull-shaped uh, skull. Skeleton? I don't know why I said skull. And yes, uh, Navi will talk to you about, uh, the very difficult art of pushing blocks. Yes, very difficult. Maybe if you're retarded. It's actually not too difficult. And there you go. I did it. And you can climb it if you uh, kind of walk towards the wall and then push A. Um, I think we're almost towards the end of this. Uh, I don't want to say dungeon. Um, what, is it? what would be a good water for it? Pre-test, maybe? Seems like a pre-test to me. Uh, ah, shit. There. I enjoyed killing you. I'm just gonna do what I need to do, which is to burn this. Oh, wait, I don't think I need to burn this, actually. Yeah, I think this is just in case you need more, uh... Or, uh, shit. Oh, wait, actually, um... Is that wall bombable? It might be. I don't remember. Because I know, uh... I think we're missing one in here. Because otherwise, on your map screen, it would have a, uh... Like a gold Skultula symbol. If you, uh, got all of them. Um... I'm pretty sure we're pretty close to the boss. Here, let me go. Um, yes, I think we're close. Oh, yes. Yeah, we are. It's just down, uh, that spider hole thing. We couldn't get here before because, uh, we couldn't climb our way up here. But we will be able to if we use this block. So I wonder how I'm doing on time, to be honest. have to go over here because of t those torches over there um, they're too high for us to re uh, for us to reach with our oh, fuck I like doing that on my way down just just for shits and giggles uh, I'm gonna grab those hearts damn it oh I think I think you grab them already even though they're underwater hmm. okay cool 
And so uh, this is where that saying came in, 23 is number one. So we're going to get this guy first. And we're going to get this guy. And last guy, we got him. Well, uh, I don't know, lucky guess, I guess. Okay. <laughs> That sounds like a bad thing to do, but... The Coupe de Grace. I like how he said that. Strike with your sword while she's stunned. Oh, Queenie. Sorry about that. He doesn't seem very loyal. I mean, I didn't really... I didn't even use my sword against him, so... Alright, so this is this, this is the other reason why I don't consider this uh, dungeon. is because you don't need a boss key in order to fight the boss. I, I think that's kind of strange. Because I think the normal dungeons of this game, you need some kind of a key. Actually, the funny thing is, we actually didn't even use keys in this dungeon, if I remember. So yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of creepy. Especially that. And that is Goma. Parasitic armored arachnid. So I guess it's like a spider. I guess it's a good thing Karapika isn't uh, playing this game. Because he would totally fuck shit up. Yeah, you can make this a lot easier if you just. if you just do the uh, jump attack. But I don't. Well, actually, I like to. I think you can also use. Uh, also use the Deku stick, actually. Oh, wow. That was easier than I thought. Shit. Man, fuck the Kokiri sword. I'll just use Deku sticks throughout the whole game. I mean, even though they break each time you use them, I guess, because I went through at least four of them. But still, that was kind of cool. Uh, let's get the heart container. No way in hell am I going to do a three heart run at this game, so... Uh, increase your life by life, life one. And I, I always like this like weird blue thing, it's always badass. And then he just kind of flies up like a, like a fucking angel. A Chris Angel or something. And then Deku Tree says, well done, Jest. That wasn't obvious. Thou hast verily demonstrated thy courage. I knew that thou wouldst be able to carry out my wishes. Now I have yet more to tell ye. Wouldst thou listen? Yeah, sure. Why not? I don't think it lets you uh, continue unless you say yes. <sighs> jackass on the horse. He looks like a faggot to me. This evil man ceaselessly uses his vile sorcerous powers in his search for the sacred realm that is connected to Hyrule. For it is in that sacred realm that one would find the divine relic, the Triforce. Yeah, been there, done that. I always like how it rained like that in, in this cutscene. It's like it's raining like divine wisdom or power or something like that. And about the three hot goddesses. Din, goddess of power. Uh, Nehru, the goddess of wisdom. And uh, Favori. I think that's how you pronounce it. The goddess of uh, courage. Does that not look like a like a sonic rainbow? Like without the rainbow effect. Totally looks like that.
Then, with her strong flaming arms, she cultivated the land and created the red earth. So she's like the, the texture designer of the game? <laughs> Nehru poured her wisdom into the earth and gave the spirit of law to the world. So, physics engineer, I guess, for the game. And, uh, Bayori. With her rich soil, produced all life forms that would uphold the law. So, character model creator, I guess? So yeah, the three makers of the game, I guess. Or all the games. The three great goddesses, their labors completed, departed for the heavens. The golden sacred triangles remained at the point where the goddesses left the world. Since then, the sacred triangles have become the basis of our world's providence and the resting place of the tri triangles has become the sacred realm. Sounds kind of stupid to me. I mean, why the fuck would you leave a holy relic that could get that you could gain the power of like a god or a demigod? Why would you leave that in the hands of ordinary people? That sounds kind of stupid to me. I mean, I don't know what the I don't know what the goddesses was, were, were, were thinking. I mean, were they trying to make Hyrule or were they just passing around the crack pipe? I don't know. I mean, it just sounds stupid to me. But whatever. Any reason to kick some ass and take some names, that's... I guess that's, uh... That's what Legend of Zelda's about, right? Hooray! Final Hope. Final Master Link. Hyrule Castle, huh? Princess of Destiny. Would it, would I be going on a date with her? That sounds pretty awesome. I'd like to date a princess. And we get a... I don't know, something to woo the princess with, I guess. What is it? Looks like uh, an emerald. Is it Pokemon Emerald? I bet she'd like that game. Oh no, it's a gem or something. Kokiri's Emerald. I'd rather have Pokemon Emerald, but... Yeah, try try giving that to a woman as a present. See what see what happens. Try, yeah, try to propose with the Pokemon Emerald instead. Or I'm sorry, I, I should say Pokemon Diamond because Diamond is clearly better than Emeralds. Anyways, as I digress, the Deku Tree dies. I gotta admit, that's kind of an eerie uh, feeling when he just kind of, like his texture just kind of, like kind of shrivels up like that and just is deathly as hell. Yeah. See you later, bud. Now that's that, that's out of the way. Oh, for sh oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, fuck you, Mido. You know, this is one of those moments where I would just love to punch him in the face. Just be like, bitch, don't bug me. I have to do shit now, okay? I guess he's gonna go... Eh, actually, I'd rather not know what he's gonna do. <laughs> but, uh... That's the end of that, and I'm going to save, definitely. Because whatever I did, hopefully... Yeah, like I mentioned earlier, leave comments, for fuck's sake. Say if it's good or not. Don't just, you know, sit there on your ass watching the fucking, you know, episode. And that's all for this uh, recording, question mark. I will see you guys later.